There was never any magic. Only conjuring tricks. The simplest involved paying people off, like the prison guard who pretended to be possessed outside your cell. Your reputation and the inmates feared did the rest. Others required more elaborate preparations, like the sandstone slab that covered your tomb. You had it broken before your burial, then put back together using a mild adhesive. An ancient Egyptian recipe, I believe. A mixture of egg and honey. Designed to be washed away by the raid. Holmes! Arranging for your father to drown in his own bathtub required more modern science. Very clever of Reardon to find a paralytic that was activated by the combination of copper and water and was therefore undetectable once the bath water was drained. It might have been quite a challenge for me had he not also tested it on some unfortunate amphibian. The death of Standish was a real mystery until you used the same compound to blow up the wharf. An odorless, tasteless, flammable liquid. Yet it burned with an unusual pinkish hue. Did Standish mistake it for rain as he entered the temple? All it took was a spark. A simple rigged bullet in his gun. Ingenious. Like all great performers who save your pièce de résistance for the end. A chemical weapon distilled from cyanide and refined in the bellies of swine. Had it worked, your followers in Parliament would have watched unharmed as their colleagues were dying around them. They didn't know that you'd given them the antidote. Instead, they would have believed it was magic and that you'd harnessed the ultimate power. And the world would have followed, fear being the most powerful weapon of all. You'd better hope that it's nothing more than superstition, as you performed all the rituals perfectly. The devil's due a soul, I'd say. For God's sake, Holmes, cut me loose! First, the world will see you for what you are, a fraud. Then you'll be hanged, properly this time. It's a long journey from here to the rope.